be worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Glory, glory, alleluia. Glory, alleluia. Glory, alleluia. Praise the Lord, worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Glory, glory, alleluia. Glory, alleluia. Glory, alleluia. Praise the Lord, glory, glory, alleluia, glory, alleluia, glory, alleluia, praise the Lord. Father Almighty, we can't thank you enough for all you've done for us during this convention. Thank you for what you did on Monday. Thank you for what you did on Tuesday. Thank you for what you did on Wednesday. Thank you for what you did on Thursday. Thank you for what you did yesterday. And Lord, thank you for what you're about to do now. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. For even giving us an opportunity to dine with you again, Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. And we pray, Lord God Almighty, that as we dine with you tonight, you will do something extraordinary in all our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our text, as we get ready for dining with the Lord, is found in that famous text, First Corinthians chapter 11, and we will read from verse 23 to 25. First Corinthians 11. From verse 23 to 25. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had sobbed, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. We want to talk about the wonders of the Lord's table. The wonders of the Lord's table. How wonderful a meal is, is determined by several factors. I mean, when you, when you eat a meal and you leave the place, say, ah, that's a wonderful meal. Several factors are involved. Factor number one is the wealth of the provider of the meal. How wealthy 
is the provider of the meal. The meal you are about to partake in tonight is provided by the one who, according to Genesis 17, verse 1, Genesis 17, verse 1, the one who is called the all-sufficient God. The God who is more than enough. The meal is provided by the one who, according to Haggai chapter 2, verse 8, Haggai chapter 2, verse 8, the one who says, Silver is mine, gold is mine. The meal is provided by the one who, according to Psalm 50, from verse 10 to 11, Psalm 50, from verse 10 to 11, is provided by the one who said, it's cattle upon a thousand hills are mine. All the fowls of the air, they are mine. The provider of this meal is extremely wealthy. Factor number two of a wonderful meal is determined by the generosity of the provider. He may be wealthy and stingy. <laughs> and I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I've had occasions to dine with some people that are called wealthy. I just thank God that I wasn't too far away from my home. So I can come home and do some good eating. Because it's one thing to be worthy, it's another thing to be generous. The provider of the meal tonight is generous. He's willing to spend. How generous is he? Psalm 68 verse 19. Psalm 68 verse 19 says... He daily loads us with benefits. When he wants to give you something, he does it by loads. That's why the Yorubas call him Olodumare. He gives his blessings by loads. Factor number three is the cook. The provider may be wealthy. He may be generous. If the cook is lousy, <laughs> the result will still be a disaster. So when the Lord wants to prepare food for you, he does it himself. Psalm 23, verse 5. Psalm 23, verse 5, Thou preparest a table before me. Thou, the Almighty God himself, prepare the table. He does not trust the cooking to angels. And factor number four are the ingredients. Because even the best of cooks will have a problem if the ingredients are not correct. And the ingredients here, the bread which is symbolic of the body of Jesus Christ. If we want to know what kind of body was his body, read Hebrews chapter 10 verse 5. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 5. He said, a special body had been prepared for me. It's a body like no other body. It's the only body where there is nothing you can trace to a human man. Only God and the Virgin Mary. Special body. 
The other ingredient, the wine, which is symbolic of the blood of Jesus Christ, contains the life of God himself. Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. Leviticus 17, verse 11. The life of the animal is in the blood. The life of a human being is in the blood. You want to know how important blood is to a human being? As the doctors. If somebody has an accident and he begins to bleed, if they cannot stop the bleeding and they cannot replace the blood soon enough, the fellow is dead. Once the blood is gone, there's nothing more you can do. So the ingredients are a special body prepared for the Lord Jesus Christ and the wine which is representing is very life. And then factor number five about a meal. After you've talked about the wealth of the provider, the generosity of the provider, the good, uh, the cook, how good the cook is, the ingredients, then this issue of how healthy is the meal. How healthy. Oh, there are some meals that will cost Oh, only God knows how much. And yet, might not be healthy for you. The food you're about to partake in, the meal you're about to partake in, is good for your health physically. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. First Peter 2, 24 says, the tribe that broke his body broke it for your health. When, you, when the bread is broken and you partake of it, you are symbolically reaching out to the stripes that broke the body of Jesus to pieces. And by his stripes you were healed. If you believe, you have faith in God, you take the bread and it will bring healings to your body. And you know what? The food brings healing to your memory. It affects your brain. How do I know that? Jesus Christ said it again and again in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23 to 25. 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 25. He kept on saying, do this in remembrance of me. Oh, one of the most disturbing sickness in the world is loss of memory. It's one of the one of the horrors that could confront some elderly people. I've seen cases where a man will not even recognize his wife. He will not even know the names of the children. I had a friend. We were very close. I didn't know he had had this problem. He went for a meeting in Abuja, was coming down from the plane while I was going to board the same plane. I was greeting him, and he looked at me, and I saw he couldn't even recognize me. I was wondering, what's the problem? We were good friends. Now I'm praying for any of you who may have relatives suffering from that kind of problem. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I use you as a point of contact for them all. As you partake of this meal tonight, may the relative receive his healing in Jesus' name. Yeah. 
And then, of course, the meal is healthy for you spiritually. Because you see, in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18, Ephesians 5, verse 18, the Bible says that the wine is comparable to the Holy Spirit. Be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess. Be ye filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit and the wine are combined. And according to Romans chapter 8, verse 11, Romans chapter 8, verse 11, the Bible says, if the Spirit is in you, it will quicken your mortal bodies. Quicken your mortal bodies. That means it will make your entire body come alive, revive. So you have a meal tonight, provided by the richest person ever. A meal provided by the most generous of all beings. Prepared by the best of all cooks. In the ingredients that is from a very special body containing the life of God himself. And very healthy for your body, for your soul, for your spirit. That is why this meal is not for all and sundry. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 21. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 21 says, Not all are invited. And he explained, he said, You can't drink the cup of the Lord and drink the cup of demons. If you are drinking with demons, you can't come and drink at the Lord's table. You cannot come to the table of the Lord if you are still present at the, deb- at the table of demons. Many what? If you are not 100% committed to the Lord Jesus Christ, don't partake of this meal. Not only is it not for unbelievers, even believers who are not 100% submissive, committed to the Lord Jesus Christ, should not partake. Sinners cannot partake of this meal. If you belong to any form of secret societies, don't, please, don't do it. Don't partake of the Lord's body. Don't partake of the Lord's table. Because the Bible says, if you partake of this table on what they lay, instead of it bringing healing to you, it can cause you to die. So if you are listening to me today, and you are not yet a child of God, please, when they are serving the table, when they are serving the bread or the wine, just ask them to pass it on that you are not partaking. If your commitment to Jesus Christ is not yet 100%, hmm, wait till you are fully committed. Then you become welcome. And so, once again, I'm going to ask those of you who have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus who may want to do so, to do so now. Do so now. Stop missing all these great benefits. The Lord will save your soul and he will forget every evil you have ever done and all things will become new. So if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, I'll give you a minute to bow your head and call on him and ask him to please save your soul, wash you clean with his blood, and just make you part of his family so that you can also become welcome at his table. And those of us who are already true children of the living God, 
100% committed to him, please again join me in interceding for those who are surrendering to Jesus Christ now that the Almighty God will wash away their sins, will receive them into his family, save their souls so that they can be welcome at the Lord's table. Let's pray for just one minute. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. My Father and my God, we want to thank you once again for your word. And we want to thank you for all those who have made up their minds now that they will surrender their lives to you. Please, Lord, receive them all. Amen. Let your blood wash away their sins. Amen. Save their souls. Amen. Receive them into the family of God. Amen. Give them a brand new beginning. Amen. And please, Lord God Almighty, when they call on you, answer them by fire. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, as we approach the lost table, when you receive the bread tonight, I want you to pray that you want the Almighty God to make you completely whole, absolutely whole, body, soul, and spirit. Make me whole, O oh Lord. Make me completely whole. When we serve the wine, you cry unto him and say, Lord God Almighty, just fill me with your life. Because the life of God is in his blood. And the wine is symbolic of the blood of the Lamb. Praise the Lord. The Lord Jesus, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and having given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you, do this in remembrance of me. So you take it, you go ahead and eat in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my name. This do ye as soft as a drink it, a remembrance of me. When you drink tonight, as the Almighty God to fill you to overflowing with his life, who brings complete and absolute revival Amen. to you, body, soul, and spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, fill me to overflowing with your Holy Spirit. Fill me to overflowing with your life. Revive me, oh Lord. Body, soul, and spirit. Quicken me, Lord, Holy Spirit, quicken me. Ramo sheke rendre remo korondre makashante. Kakeke rundre remo korondre remo kosheke rende ke remo kosheke rende ke moko shanta. Rakeke te rundre remo kosheke rende remo korondre remo kosheke rende ke remo kashatunde. Here remo korondre remo kosheke rende remo korondre ke remo kashakotunde remo kotunda. Fill me to overflowing, Lord, with your life. Revive me, my Father and my God. Quicken every bit of me, Lord. Render the moko shende the makakatunde the moko ronde ke the moko shake tende. Mankoto ronde the moko shake rende ke moko ronde ke the moko shake tende the moko ronde the moko ronde the moko shake the makatanda. Thank you, my Father. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. My Father, my God, once again, I want to say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity you've given us to dine with you. Father, I pray that all the benefits, all the wonders of dining with you will become our portion today. Amen. Body, soul, and spirit, my Father and my God, revive us. Amen. Feel us overflowing with your own life. Amen. Let this night mark another new beginning for us. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you all. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Now you can keep on rejoicing in the Lord because I know you had heard your prayers. Amen. Amen.